Are you having PC problems? You say, oh, personal computer problems? No professing Christian problems. <laughs> I learned something a long time ago when I got saved and the Lord called me into the ministry and uh, heard uh, Dr. Ruckman actually say at the one time that uh, your worst enemies in the ministry are going to be professing Christians. And uh, if you're saved, you're going to understand that fairly quickly, especially today. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 26 says here, In journeyings often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils by mine own countrymen, in perils by the heathen, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. Are there false brethren, brethren today? Yes. And you see, we still are in a time where we still have the freedom to tell truth and whatever else. But more and more, these uh, professing Christians, these false brethren that are out there, um, they're getting more and more dangerous. And they're trying more and more to shut people like me down. I see it all the time in the comments. Oh, you're dangerous. You're bad. You're evil and all this stuff. Get a life. You know? I mean, if you don't like what's being said here, then don't watch. Very simple. But see, they can't stand that. They are professing, they as professing Christians don't like to have certain sins of theirs kicked. They don't like that very much. You see, they don't like to hear the true gospel being proclaimed. They'll come out and they'll say, prayer is a work, repentance is works salvation, you're teaching lordship salvation, you're blah, 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 blah. They just lie about you all the time. And these people will dog your ministry worse than the worst atheists out there. I don't have too many problems with, uh, you know, Satanists or Luciferians or witches or whatever kind of evil people like that. I rarely ever get Muslims commenting on my channel. The people that give me the worst trouble are professing Christians. You're going to experience the same thing. So what do you do? Well, just continue to do right. Preach the gospel. Bring the truth out. That's all you really can do. That's what Paul did. It's just part of being a minister of Jesus Christ. You're going to have those perils among false brethren. That's what you're going to do. That's what's going to happen in your life. So... Just wanted to bring that out just as a little bit of an encouragement. If you are being persecuted by professing Christians, if you're having PC problems, uh, thank the Lord for it. And don't let them get you down. Just keep keep striving for the Lord. Keep fighting for the Lord. Uh, we don't have much longer to go. And then it's going to be sorted out who is the real Christians. The real ones are going up. The false ones are staying down. You're going to see that. And let me just say this too. If you're an atheist and watching this, I know a lot of atheists watch me. Because they, you know, I know I've been told different times they respect my blunt honesty. And I respect that. I respect the fact that you're logical and open-minded enough to watch a differing opinion. Okay? Thank you for that. And you still think I'm a fool and whatever else. That's fine. I think you're foolish too. So we, we you know, can agree on that. But, uh, you know, uh, one of the things I see with atheists, they'll say, you know, if Christianity is real, why is there so much dissension? Why is this Christian fighting against that Christian and that one against that one? Well, you know, if you get saved and you start to read the Bible, you'll understand why. Okay? There's real Christians, real Christianity, and then there's the fake. See? It's going to be there. So, but uh, just wanted to make this little short video just to encourage people. Keep, keep fighting for the Lord. Okay, don't let professing Christians, you know, don't let the PCs out there, uh, don't let them get you down. Okay, thank you for watching.